All right, so the uh, main thing here is I'm just gonna demonstrate some, some of the ways I would train um, what, would I, what I call the heel deep divot feels. So this would have the intention of sort of getting around the corner, um, you know, out of impact. So, you know, P7, 7.5, 8, around that corner a little bit more efficiently with the longer clubs. Um, you know, obviously the longer clubs are, you know, the club head's further away from you, the shaft's sitting on a shallower plane. So you tend to see, you know, more sort of handle raise, hands throwing, arms getting sent away from the body, inertia kind of pulling things out and away. Um, you know, because with the, with the longer clubs, the upper COGs are gonna be a little bit more back. You know, the right shoulder is gonna be a little more back and under, unless you're really trying to hit a low punch cut with a three iron, but that's not a really profound golf shot. So how to hold the corner a little bit more efficiently without, you know, getting steep from this perspective. Um, we try to train the feeling of the, the heel deep divot. So I'll set up feeling, you know, not super bent over, a little bit taller in my setup, hands maybe a smidge higher. And then I'm trying to feel like my hands are going from here to there at impact. These three fingers, pinky, uh, ring, and middle finger, it's almost like they're punching down in that way. Because I know with the longer clubs, I'm gonna be extending a little bit more, leaning back a little bit more. Things are gonna get shifted more out to the right typically. So for me to be able to hold this corner, it's not that I'm trying to turn more, turn my chest more. It's that I'm trying to keep my left clavicle down, I'm trying to keep my left shoulder down, I'm trying to sort of retract and externally rotate my left shoulder around this corner. Kind of the same way I would retract and externally rotate this shoulder up in this region of the swing. I'm trying to keep this shoulder, this clavicle down so that this, so the pulling kind of coming from the posterior chain through here, I'm feeling like my left lat, my left tricep, um, my left rear delt, like this area, I'm trying to feel like I'm squeezing back in there. Like if I put a T in the back of my armpit, I'm trying to feel like I'm squeezing down in here to keep the left shoulder down. So it's not that I'm keeping the left shoulder down like this, it's that I'm keeping it from going up that way. Keeping the clavicle down, keeping the shoulder down, so my left shoulder is gonna be staying decompressed down, it's going to be externally rotating around that corner and then retracting around that corner. But all I really needed to do to get my left arm from here to there was I needed to just squeeze back in here. And when I do that, what's going to happen is my left wrist is gonna stay more level through here. My upper arm pressure points are gonna stay tighter. And if I do it properly, you get this sort of cool feeling of going from like handle down and the shaft immediately starts to wanna to kick up vertical, which makes it lighter and easier to control. And then the upper arm pressure points will stay tighter. So this is essentially how you control the three dots when you don't have much of a divot club heads further away from you and club heads going a lot faster. So if I felt some of the same stuff with a wedge, I might start missing left um, because the shaft plane's different and I might start going too far low left. Um, so another way I would sort of train this would be, see, because I'm trying to get this back to an inline condition. So I'm trying to return this back to a straight line from this perspective but I'm trying to keep it from going into a straight line from this perspective. So I'm still trying to get the butt of the club to come in toward the inside of my left thigh like that. I'm 
I'm not trying to keep my hands forward. I'm trying to get it in here like this, like that way. So I'm still trying to return it to an inline condition from this perspective, but from this perspective, I'm trying to really keep my hands kind of punching down like this way. So that's why when you see P8, like from Nicholas hitting long irons high, the hands are lower at P8 and closer to the pelvis at P8. So when I look at Nicholas's shoulders, this one's down, pressure's back in here. This one's covering slightly, but that's covering from the pec shoulder more that way versus turning the rib cage. So when I see Nicholas at P8, I see left shoulder down and sort of starting to externally rotate and stay decompressed while the right shoulder is kind of covering a little bit more like that, right pec, right shoulder. So it's like almost like snap hooking the hands and arms with a kind of a fade in the body. Um, so the other way I would train this would be just swinging into impact and then immediately starting to re-cock the club. So it kind of look like this. So I'm, I'm really trying to keep my left wrist as level as possible and not let it go that way. 